why are volcanoes the most exciting of geological phenomena? Because they're a blast. I sort of think it's very similar to a pop bottle. When you overpressurize the pop bottle, it can pop and, and the pop can come out of it. So a volcano is just like that. So you have a plumbing system and usually the volcano has what we call a reservoir or a magma chamber. And so if that gets overpressurized to the point where it overcomes the pressure of the capping rocks, then obviously the lava or the magma can come out. Compositionally, they are both the same. Geologists like to call it magma when it's underneath the ground, and when it's above the surface, we call it lava. The volcanic rocks themselves are archives of Earth's history. We learn quite a bit about the processes that happens inside a volcano from looking at the volcanic rocks. For example, are there changes in the magma composition that occurred that potentially could give clues about what could have triggered the eruption. There are volcanoes both on land and underwater. In fact, there are more volcanoes underwater. What geologists call the mid-ocean ridges, which is pretty much the birthplace of the crust of the Earth, actually is a chain of volcanoes that extends more than 60,000 kilometer long under the oceans and there are volcanoes in space as well. There is evidence that Mars and Venus have had volcanism in the past, so there are lots of volcanoes there to study to understand the ancient history of Mars, which is uh, probably quite similar to what Earth might have actually gone through. In Earth, because of plate tectonics, a lot of the material has been erased. So if we were to go to Mars, we would probably be able to understand much about the early part of Earth's history from studying the Martian rocks. Unlike what uh, a lot of people think, we do have volcanoes in the western margin of Canada that are considered very active, which is actually part of the famous Ring of Fire, named so because of the volcanoes that surround the Pacific Ocean margin. Mount Meager last erupted about 2,500 years ago, and the ash from that eruption even fell in Calgary. That is the million dollar question. There are lots of precursor events that happens before an eruption that occurs. Lots of ground motions, seismicity, earthquakes. So it does give abundant warning, but in terms of predicting a specific time at which an eruption might occur, it's still very difficult for us to do. Not all volcanic processes are destructive. The volcanic ash itself contributes to the development of soil in many volcanic regions, which is one of the reasons why we have nearly 500 million people living around volcanoes, because those regions are very good for agriculture. The tallest mountain in the world, if you measure from the base of the ocean, is actually a volcano. Mauna Loa or Mauna Kea in Hawaii, they are actually taller than Mount Everest if you measure from the base of the ocean from which they start. Definitely Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii looking at volcanoes with my students. A great place because those volcanoes are quite benign in the sense that they don't blow up on your face, so it's pretty safe to observe them. You can observe active processes and then you can go to an older Hawaiian island and actually see how the products of volcanism has transformed over a period of a few million years. 